Hey everybody, uh, Rick Prokop here. Now that we've finished all of the sharp scales and gone all the way to C sharp major, I'd like to do something theoretical. And what I'd like to do is go one step further. So what if we carry on from C sharp and go up another five and build the scale from that point? What will that scale look like? And the conclusion is very interesting, but you'll see it's also impractical. And that is why a scale beyond C sharp in sharps does not exist. So let's take a look. If you recall, we began our study of constructing scales with C major. And this set of notes represented on the piano, all of the white keys, but also theoretically, they are all natural letter names. In other words, you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G within this pool of notes, and none of them have sharps, and none of them have flats. So using that given pool of notes as a starting point, we then went on to G major, and remember we wrote out G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, no sharps, no flats. In other words, that's the, that's the pool that we were given and that we started with, and then we altered that set of notes by changing the seventh note to a sharp, and in this case it was an F sharp. So now we're starting the cycle all over again. We have C sharp major, and the difference is, is that the set of notes are all sharps. C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp, as opposed to just naturals, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So we count up five. One, two, three, four, five. That brings us to G sharp. Looks like our new scale is going to be G sharp major. And we will begin right here. And since this is our pool or set of starting notes, I'm just going to copy them down here starting on the G sharp and work my way up to the top G sharp. So let's see, we have G sharp, A sharp. We have B sharp, everything's sharped. We have C sharp. We have D sharp. And E sharp. And this next one I'm going to write in pencil, at least the sharp I'm going to write in pencil, because it's going to be needed to be changed. And on the top we have G sharp. So let's take a look now. I put in my half step carrots between three and four, seven and eight, and I've marked my whole steps. And everything is checking out here. G sharp to A sharp is good. A sharp to B sharp is good. B sharp to C sharp is a half step. Remember, because B sharp is really a C. C sharp to D sharp is good. E sharp, uh, D sharp to E sharp is good. E sharp to F sharp is not good. We need a whole step here. And E sharp is really an F. And an F going up to an F sharp is only a half step. So this is where our modification occurs. And it's occurring again on the seventh step of the scale. How interesting. So I'm erasing the F sharp. And now what we use is a double sharp. But a double sharp will look like this. If I draw an F over here, And that's much too cumbersome. So what they've done is 
instead of using two sharps in front of a note, two sharps are equal to an X. So when you see an X, it's a double sharp. So you see how confusing this is getting now and how impractical this is becoming. Well, can we construct a key signature out of this mess here? Well, yeah, but again, it's really impractical. Let's take a look at what it would look like. Here's our G clef. And instead of an F sharp now, we have an F double sharp. That's our first accidental. Then we have C sharp. We have G sharp. We have D sharp. We have an A sharp. We have an E sharp. And we have a B sharp. And you can see what a nightmare this is becoming. So in our new theoretical universe of sharps, this is what the new circle of fifths would look like. And before we start, let's just look at the old one. And you notice it was C, G, D, A, E, B, and then the, F, then the sharps began because a fifth above B was F sharp, fifth above F sharp was C sharp. So now we're starting with C sharp which had a B-sharp as the seventh degree, and we go up five to G-sharp. What did we find in the G-sharp scale? We added a double sharp <laughs> on the F. <laughs> so seventh degree, instead of, like in the beginning, we had a G and an F-sharp. Now we have a G-sharp and an F double sharp. Well, what do you think is gonna happen next now? And, and our new key signature was, you know, it's all the sharps, but the new sharp now is the F double sharp. What's going to happen next? We go G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. We come up to D sharp. Remember, our original scale was just C, G, D. Now it's D sharp. And what do you think the next sharp is going to be? Well, it's, instead of a C sharp, which we had in the D scale, it's going to be a C double sharp. And I've never done this before, just to let you know, it's just a fun exercise for me uh, to see the absurdity of continuing on with this. So now we have F double sharp, C double sharp, and then we would replace that C sharp with a C double sharp in the key signatures. So then the new key, new key signature would be F sharp, F double sharp, C double sharp, and then G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. And you see how slowly the sharps, all of these sharps are gonna be replaced by double sharps because we're in a new dimension now. Yes, we are in the twilight zone now. So instead of C, G, D, A, we have A sharp. And what's the new double sharp? It's a G double sharp. And then we go, uh, instead of up to an E, we go to an E sharp. What's the new double sharp? F double C, G, D double sharp. See? And instead of uh, C, G, D, A, E, B, we go to B sharp. And the new double sharp is A double sharp. Okay, now if you remember, when we did the first circle of fifths, it was C, G, D, A, E, B, and then we had an F sharp, because B going up five in the B scale was B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp. Well, <laughs> going up five in the B sharp scale is going to bring me to an F double sharp. That will be the name of our new scale there, and... It will have a seventh step adjustment of an E sharp, E double sharp, 
And then our final scale in this new Twilight Zone world of sharps would be instead of uh, C, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp, C sharp, it would be C double sharp. The C double sharp scale, folks. And what would be the new sharp on the seventh degree? B double sharp. So you look at the double sharps now, F sharp, C sharp, G, F, C, G, D, A, E, B, and all of these sharps, F, C, G, D, A, E, get replaced by double sharps um, in the course of events here as uh, we go through the new circle. So you may be wondering, do double sharps appear in music? in legitimate music, and the quick answer is yes, but not that often. They're more prone to show up um, in a song written in a key that already has a lot of sharps, uh, five, six, seven sharps. In this case, um, this is a Bach fugue written in the key of C-sharp major, and you'll notice that there's an F double sharp, reflecting that Bach has changed the keys just briefly. He started out in C-sharp major, and he does what's called a modulation just briefly where he changes the key into G-sharp, into our theoretical scale. And as a result, here are the F double sharps. There's one there, there's one here on ledger lines, there's one here down in the bass clef, and then here's another F double sharp. And I just want to add that it's very difficult uh, to read something like this because you're seeing a note on the F line and it's really a G that you have to play on the piano. So it gets very complicated trying to read this stuff. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, really impractical, but there is no way around it if you're writing in the key of C sharp major. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please click on the subscribe button, and uh, there's also a little bell you can click on so that whenever a new video comes out, you will be notified. So thanks for hanging in there with me, folks, and we'll see you next time.